My name is Joe Stella. I'm 29. Competing in strongman since May of 2015 was my first contest, so a little over six years. Recently in October of 2020, um, I was at a contest and um, I was doing a max log in a strongman contest. Um, it was my second attempt. Um, I went to 400 pounds, a weight I'd done many times before. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Um, on the descent before the press. Uh, oh, come on! Easy! Jesus Christ! Staring up at the ceiling uh, with a 400 pound log on my body and uh, found out later I had ruptured both of my patellar tendons. My initial reaction was just shock. Um, I had felt the pops, but really didn't feel any pain. Um, I was honestly, I was numb from the neck down, so I really didn't know what was going on. You kind of start running through all these things in your head. You know, you kind of start at the high level stuff. Will I be able to compete at a high level in strongman again? And then you kind of work down to like, am I even really gonna be able to lift anymore? The contest I did, wasn't one I planned on doing. Um, I was getting ready for a different contest. It was, you know, 2020, things were getting canceled left and right. Um, and there was this contest called Static Monsters. It's a contest that happens all around the world. It's just a max log and a max deadlift. And I just went to do it for fun. Um, so a friend of mine that had never done Strongman before, he did it with me. And it was meant to just be a fun day, training day. You know, obviously the things come to mind, if I hadn't done it, would it have happened? That doesn't really help anything to think that way. And also, you know, there's a chance that that injury was looming, that that was gonna happen at another point. I was actually very fortunate because it happened uh, like 20 minutes from where I live. Whereas, you know, I, I could have been halfway across the country. I could have been, I've competed halfway across the world. So I could have been there and injured and, you know, would not be able to go home for weeks or months. In 2019, um, I did my first international competition um, with Strongman Champions League and uh, 2020 was supposed to be the year that I was going to be competing semi-regularly internationally and hopefully going to uh, you know, qualify for an honorable pro competition, uh, maybe try to qualify for a Giants Live or World Strongest Man competition um, and obviously everything just got kind of cancelled so um, was hoping that was going to be 2021, but obviously with the injury, uh, things just got kind of set back for a year. I stood up the night after my surgery, but I was in a leg brace that fully locked my legs out, so I couldn't bend my legs for at all for eight weeks. I just did what I could, so I didn't really do anything lower body outside of electro stim or, you know, I'd, I'd move around a little bit, but I really just tried to heal. Um, but what I was doing is I took the pedals off of my Airdyne bike and I was just using the arms. Um, I was doing upper body workouts, um, pretty much anything I could that didn't involve the lower body. I was stuck at home uh, all day. I got off pain medicine after about a week. So I was fully alert. I had energy. I was just bored. I just wanted to have something to do and it really helped. I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot I could do upper body wise just because I couldn't get myself into positions. Um, for a while, it was just getting on the bike and just being able to slowly do more and more and more every day. Really helped to break up the monotony, but really just helped to kind of allow me to kind of clear my mind and that kind of stuff, so. At what point did the thought of competing come back into your mind? Uh, immediately. I never really thought that I was gonna be done. Thankfully, uh, one person that's had this injury before is Adrunas Savickas, who was regarded as one of the, if not the strongest man who've ever lived, um, and he came back. Um, and, you know, once I had the injury, I got a, a ton of messages from all these people that had, had either the same injury, knew someone that had an injury, and, and they, they said they had come back and at least been able to lift. And, um, you know, I knew it was going to take a lot of work, but I, you know, wanted to do it. There was kind of a duality where uh, I knew that it was possible and that it was going to take work, but it also, the idea that it was going to take a long time really set in. I was cleared to strengthen my legs at 12 weeks, which was, well, technically 11 weeks later was uh, New Year's and I just, you know, 
wanted to do something just to kind of cap the year off. And so I did a barbell squat, just an empty bar, um, just worked my way kind of as low as I could. And that was it. It wasn't much, but it felt good to do something. You know, having an empty bar, I mean, that hasn't, I mean, since I was 12, <laughs> you know, it hasn't felt like that. So yeah. I hadn't competed in a while. Um, it was Oregon's Strongest Man. I had won Oregon's Strongest Man previously. So I figured I might as well just go and do three events just to have fun. And the fourth event was a keg carry medley where you pick up two kegs. And my plan was just to pick it up and move it a foot to get a point. Uh, but when I picked it up, it didn't feel too bad. So I finished the whole thing. Everyone's journey is different. Some people looked at mine and thought I came back pretty quick. I still. I'm not even back. It's only six months later. I've done one competition, but I still have a long way to go. Uh, so don't base your recovery off of anyone else. I know people that have done more sooner than me, and I know people that have done less than me at this point, but it's your own journey. Listen to your body, do as much as you can, and pour yourself into that, but make sure you pull back when you need to. Be anti-fragile. Cool. Perfect. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Of course. Thank you. I just bl I blacked out. What did, did, did we did we do that? <laughs>